Hi everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Growth Tarot. I'm Denise and this reading is for Sunday, October 25th. Okay, so whatever it is that we need to know in order to evolve and be in more abundance and happiness, all that good stuff. Ooh, we have the world, the tower reversed, and the High Priestess reversed. Interesting. Okay. Let's bring in some crystals. Why not? <laughs> okay. So, with... I, I always read the center card as the theme. Well, most always. Uh, so with the Tower reversed, okay. What I want to say about this card, as far as the way I read it, which can be different than other readers, but I'll I'll do I'll give both meanings. Notice the butterflies here and the transformation that comes through. And yes, it can be sudden. And yes, this card is ruled by Mars, but I always see it as Uranus as well because look at the lightning bolt. I mean that's electricity, but traditionally it's it's ruled by Mars. Now. On the level of Mars, we're in that realm of moving through life, going towards something that we want. And, of course, what we want is happiness. Whether we know it or not, we just want to be happy and loved and connected with each other and uh, bliss in a state of semi-bliss at least. <laughs> Right? Because, you know, we come from this realm where uh, it is 100% bliss. And then and then here we are born into the earthly plane, and it's such a shock for the baby. No wonder, you know, we scream like that when we're little. Uh, it, it's terribly shocking. And, and, and we always carry that remembrance with us that in the spirit world, it's 100% bliss, it's love, it's unity. You can't even have a negative thought. I'm, and I'm talking in the highest realms of spirit, uh, you know, from, from which we hail. And from that realm, we have this remembrance as well that's in, you know, the cellular uh, memory of our body where when we want something or we're, you know, all we have to do is just think of like there's a desire and, and it, within that moment of that desire and imagine, first of all, you can't have a negative thought so it can't be a desire for anything bad. So the desire comes in to be somewhere else, experience somewhere else or whatever and the, and the second you think it and feel it, bam, you're there. And you can always build upon it and feel more or you can ask for more help with it. You can... Um, you know, we're connected with everyone else, so there's always support. So here we are on Earth, and we don't get that. <laughs> it, it takes a lot to get what you really want, and, and when we don't get it, we think there's something wrong with us. So in order to defend around feeling that we're inferior or inadequate, we can sometimes build up a, a false self. And this false self does everything it, it can. It's just a part of our you know personality and, and our ego, and it's not who you really are, but it's it's meant to defend against feeling hurt and um, pain, you know, from the past. And so the tower card represents where we can break through that. and it, so it sometimes means crisis. And it sometimes means, um, you know, complete need to restructure some area of your life. And but as you do that, you break down that false self, and and your real self comes through. You don't ever have to work to create a, your real self. Your real self is already there inside of you, and is just waiting to be released. And so when the tower comes in. It can be shocking. It can feel like a crisis, but there's real meaning in it in that it breaks us open to get to that transformative place where, oh, wow, there's something new here, but it can be painful. Now, when the tower's reversed, well, that can be a little bit challenging because um, 
because it, it can be, well, it can be an, an avoidance, you know, like something, a near miss that happened, and but it didn't happen. Like, that, that can definitely be the case. But it can also be um, a fear of breaking through, right? A fear of change. So, and I especially feel that that's the case because of the High Priestess reversed here. So, but let's go to the World card. Because the World is beautiful for completion, for being all the way in alignment, in alignment with who you truly are. I mean, when we look at the, and we have three major arcanas today, wow. And when you look at, you know, the journey of the fool through each one of these gateways, well, here we're at the end. So something has been accomplished. You know, there's something that has even been uh, integrated within. So there's a big accomplishment, you know, integration. Um, but I, I would say it's more on the level of, of a, a major completion within the level, your level of integrity, and that's because of these cards. So, so for some of you, it will be that you want this completion, and the way that you need to get there is to not be afraid of the change anymore, and you need to do more work with your higher self and sit, you know, sit in meditation and work through whatever could be holding you back from these decisions that you need to make. All the twos have to do with decisions and joining forces together. And it could be that there's just some little piece of your false self that's still holding up, you know, kind of like, what would, I, what would others think if I did that? Who cares? If it's something that's for your greater, you know, the greater accomplishment of your soul and you coming, returning home to yourself, who cares what anyone else thinks? This reminds me of a, a you know, I, I had a, a, I went to my aunt's, my aunt and uncle's house that I hadn't seen in, in years. And this, this is like way back in the, in the, you know, mid nineties or so. And <laughs> My aunt says, well, how have you been doing? What are you doing? What kind of work are you doing now? Are you still doing massage? And, and I said, yeah, and but I also do astrology. And you, I mean, you just, it's like her face went blank. You, suddenly she wasn't there anymore. She didn't roll her eyes at me, but her eyes glazed over like, she just, and, and nothing, no words came out of her mouth. She did not know how to respond. <laughs> And thank goodness I had enough of myself at the time. I could just kind of laugh and, you know, okay. And she literally turned around and walked away. So that was that. So that, that was a breakthrough for me. Uh, and, and it's because I'd had enough experience, you know, on, on my path to, to know that that was the right way to go. And I wasn't going to hide myself anymore. I, I was not going to stay small and I was not going to, um, I just wasn't going to hide it. So... So there's that. So when you have something like that come through, that is a breakthrough. So, but in this reversal position here, we really do need to break through. We really do need to let go of the fear of change. And we really do, we really, really, really need to connect with our higher self because that's the only way to get to the, you know, the completion and to your true inner integrity. You can't get there through any other route. It just doesn't work that way. It's always an inside job, and it always requires, you know, that communion with your inner self, with your higher self. And it's also, you know, the High Priestess is all about the mystery. So maybe this card here has to do with wanting to stay in control and being afraid to let go into the unknown because that's scary, right? I mean, that is scary. That is one of the fears that we have to break through. She's also very connected to her instincts. And that's, that's the way. With your higher self. Now, this card is all about timing, too, because it's ruled by Saturn. So, 
and Saturn and Capricorn, no less. But with, with the High Priestess, it's the moon, right? So it's your feelings, but it, it connects to your instincts. And your, it's your instinctual nature that hooks you up to divine timing for you. So, of course, it's your higher self. It's, it's, it, it is the power that connects to everyone else's highest selves so that you meet the right people, so that you hook up with people, you know, of like-minded, um, you know, kindred spirits. And, of course, it's, it's your intuition. I mean, that's easy to see there. Intuition inspiration, your, your real feelings. These cards go so well together. When you break free, you live from your real feelings, connected to your higher self, and then you can recreate your life in any way that you want, just about any way. You know, within, within time, I mean, of course, we're all living through this terrible time where we kind of have to reinvent ourselves online. But you can do it. You can do it. The tools are out there. And if, you're, and if your profession is, you know, a nurse or healthcare practitioner or some other, you know, hands-on uh, profession, then oh, my, my heart and, and soul go out to you completely. And you are our heroes. You know, the, the firefighters, the uh, nurses, the doctors, the people that help deliver food, create food, you know, all the things that, that help take care of people that can't do that for themselves, first of all, and that take care of children. Shout out to all the parents who are home with their kids, working from home, and homeschooling, and helping them with their homework. <laughs> yeah. But so to open to that mystery of how we can recreate our life anew and reinvent ourselves and that there's never really an end. There's probably never really a beginning either. <laughs> you know, it's just a constant state of, of releasing and emerging from who you really are from the inside out under your own authority and recreating yourself as you go. So, okay, well, that's all I have to say for, for today. And um, you guys take good care. I hope you've had a wonderful weekend, and, and um, I'll be back for Monday's reading. And um, meanwhile, uh, kudos to you, <laughs> and take care.